Hi there, readers. Welcome to the Reader's Garden. I'm Mrs. Gardner. Today we're going to be doing Lesson 26, Day 2, Part 1. So we're back to continue our adventure with the L sound, L. Remember how we explored this smooth, liquid sound in words like lamp and log? Well, today we're going to strengthen our skills and dive even deeper into how this sound works in blending and word reading. As we go, let's keep those listening ears on and focus on each sound. The ol sound flows smoothly and helps words feel connected, so we want to make sure we hear it clearly. We'll blend it with other sounds and practice spelling words that use the l or ol sound as well. So let's get ready to blend, spell, and play with our ol sound words as we grow together in our confidence as readers. However, before we go any further, please take a moment to like and subscribe because it really helps support my channel grow so that I continue making lessons for you as readers. All right, here's our plan for today. We'll review our new concept, do word work, our irregular words, and then we'll finish with some connected text. So let's talk about that new concept. This is the letter L, and L is a consonant. L spells L, like in the beginning of the word lion. It also comes at the beginning of the word leaf. The letter L can come at the beginning of a word, such as the word lip or the word lot. L -i -l -ot. To make the L sound, gently place your tongue just behind your top front teeth like this. L -l -l. Then you turn your voice on and you let the sound flow. The ul sound is a continuous sound, which means we can stretch it out for as long as we have air. It also means it's a sound that can be sung. You don't really hear singers singing that one because it's it's not as beautiful as some of other sounds can be. Although, you know what? Maybe that's not fair to the ul sound. Ul sound, I'm sorry. You are a beautiful sound. I'm just not used to hearing you sung in that way. It's important to say ul smoothly without adding extra sounds before or after. So we're not trying to say ol or l. We're trying to say ul, which might actually make it a little tricky to have it pick up in the microphone. So if you're looking on your consonant sound wall, you're going to have your L card just beneath tongue behind top teeth and over from liquid. And you can see those blue arrows pointing to where that sound is. So we're going to go ahead and check off our new concept and let's head over to do some word work together. If you're going to be doing your word work along with me, this would be a good time for you to get out your materials. So go ahead and pause the video. If not, let's get started. Let's begin by making the word log, log, like a log you would put on the fireplace. L-O-G, log, log. And how would I want, what would I need to do if I changed log to lag, lag? Oh, I hear that change. I'm gonna put my O back and instead add in. Lag. And I'm going to take off that A and put a new vowel in the middle there. L egg. Leg. Leg. I'd like to change leg to lead. Lead. What do I need to do to change that? Lead. Oh, I hear. I'm going to change that ending sound. Lead. Now I'm going to take off the L in the beginning and instead add an R. Red. Red. I want to change red to bed. B. B bed. Oh, I hear. I need a b, b, bed, bed. I'm going to take off my d and instead add a t, b, et, bet. How would I change bet to let, let, hmm, b, et. I'm going to take off the b. Now I have et, l, let, let. What do I need to do if I want to change let to lot, lot? I'm going to take off my e, l, Ought, lot, lot, and if I take off my O and instead add my I, I get lit, lit. Now, if I want to change lit to lip, lip, oh, I can hear the T at the end, lip, lip. Now, oh, what happens here? I'm going to add an M, limp. Limp. Oh, that's what happens to someone if they if they hurt their ankle and they're having to sort of hobble around. We'd say that they have a bit of a limp. So if I take limp and I take off that I, and instead I exchange it for a U, I get lump, lump. I'm going to take off the U and add an A. What do I get? I get lamp, 
lamp. And finally, I'm going to take off my M and scoot my P over there. And what do I end up with? Lap, lap. Okay, that is our last word for the moment. So please take your letters and put them away so that you are ready for the next time we use our word work tiles. All right, let's go on over to our schedule. We can check, check off our word work, which means it's time to talk about our irregular words, which you know are sometimes temporarily irregular, meaning they're not always irregular, but irregular for now because we don't know the rule yet. And sometimes there are permanently irregular words, which means they'll always be irregular. Here we go. This is the word look. Look, I'm looking at you. I look out to see my readers. So this is the word look. Look has how many sounds? Look. Look. It has three sounds. Now, that first sound, l, that's regular. The L is making the l sound. The last sound, the k, that's the K making the k sound, and that's regular. But the middle, that's irregular right there. Those two O's, and we haven't learned this rule yet, but we would expect those two O's together to make the sound ooh, ooh. And instead they're making uh. And that sound right above me, that's the sound that represents the uh sound. Just so if you ever see that, we call that the the horseshoe or the bucket sound. And it, it because it kind of looks like a horseshoe. But anyway, so we don't say this word Luke. Ooh, Luke over there. We don't say that. We say look. And so that uh, that's irregular. And the two O's making that sound, that's the part that we need to learn by heart. Okay, so what is this word? This word is look. We will learn this word by heart. And on that same note, we have this word and it rhymes with look. This is the word book. What word is this? Book. I'm going to look at the book. And it's irregular for the same reasons. The B is making an expected regular sound, b. The K is making an expected, expected regular sound, k. But the two O's together, they are making the uh sound. They are making that horseshoe sound. They are making the sound uh, not oo. We don't say this word book. I'm going to read a book. Nope. We say book. And because of that, we will learn this word by heart. What word is this? B what word is this? Book. Okay. I hope you just all said book to me. Let's talk about more words. What word is this? This is the word from. Why is this word irregular? Because in the word from, the O is making the sound uh, as if it were a U. It's not making a regular O sound. So we know the F, the R, and the M, those are all making regular sounds, but our O is making an odd, suspicious sound that is not what an O usually makes. So we know that this word is from. All right, what word is this? This is the word me, 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 me. What word is this? All right, what word is this? This is the word B. What word is this? I hope you're saying it so I can hear you. And we have one more. What word is this? This is the word he. What word is this? All right, that was excellent. I could hear you all the way from here. You said he so loud. So as you know, this is a great opportunity for you to practice with your practice pages. And I will show you quickly how to do that because this is one of my favorite ways to practice. So here is that practice page for our words we were just talking about. We have look, book, he, be, me, and from. And we are trying to put those words into the boxes that best match. So for example, the word he is here because that H is a taller letter and the E is a shorter letter. So let's see if we can find a frame that would fit the word look. I see that the L is a tall letter, then I have a short O, a short O, and a tall K. So I'm looking for a frame that's tall, short, short, tall. Let's see, not this one, not this one. Ah, tall, short, short, tall. So I can put look, and I wrote that, and I can check it off one time because I am going to write each of my words two times. It says right there, we're going to write each of our words two times. So when I find another tall, short, short, tall frame, I can write the word look again and I can check it off a second time and I can cross it out because I found it. So then I do book, he, be, me, and from. 
And when you have practiced all of those, you will have done some excellent irregular word practice. I forgot to mention, if you would like a copy of this practice sheet, it is available to you for free in the link below. So feel free to check that out and you can get that sheet for free. So we can check off our irregular word practice and let's head on over to our connected text. So our first connected text sentence I see has one, two, three, four words. So I will get my four cubes out. I have, oh, I need to put them in the proper order here. I need a red cube connected to an orange, a yellow, and then a blue. What is that first word? That first word is look. Well, that's one of our new irregular words, look. Next word, at. Next word, the. Last word, lamp look at the lamp. Okay, I'm looking at the lamp. Hmm, I did that. See if there's a lamp around you. Look at the lamp. Okay, good job. Now let's move on to our next connected text sentence. I see we have one, two, three, four words. Again, I still have my four cubes. What is that first word? The first word, mel. Next word, lost. Mel, lost. Third word, the last word belt belt mel lost the belt oh no i wonder if it was mel's karate belt those are so important because they show your levels as you're moving up in your karate practice okay next one we have one two three four five six so i need another red cube after the blue and then i need another orange cube all right, six words. Here we go. First word, Lynn. Oh, it's a name. Someone's name, Lynn. Next word, got the. Lynn got the, what's that word with the blue cube? Last. Lynn got the last. Next word, book. Oh, that's one of our regular words. Next word, bag. Lynn got the last book bag. Oh, I wonder if they were giving out book bags and, well, I see a book bag right there. So maybe that's what happened. I always wonder with these sentences, what is the rest of the story? All right, we have done our three sentences. So that means it is time for us to move on to some writing of our sentences. Now in that same practice page I was just talking about, we have some space for you to do your connected text practice. Now, you don't have to do it there. You can do it in another location as well if you have somewhere else to write. So I'll let you pause if you need to. And then when you're ready to write, come on back and we can write. All right, our first sentence here is a five word sentence. Here we go. Look at the lit log. Look at the lit log. Look at the lit log. Now pause if you need to, and then together we'll write. Our first word is look. Look at the lit log. Look at the lit log. All right, check yours and see if yours looks like mine. If not, you can check where ours are different. And again, if you need to pause the video, you are always welcome to do that. When you're ready, let's go on to our next sentence. This is a four word sentence. It is a question. So that means you will be putting a question mark at the end as your punctuation. This is the sentence. Is the book lost? Is the book lost? Is the book lost? When you're ready, go ahead and write. That first word, capital I, is the, it's one of our irregular words, is the book, that's one of our irregular words too, is the book lost? question mark. Is the book lost? Let's do one more sentence together. We have one more five word sentence. The sentence is, he lost 
the red lamp. He lost the red lamp. All right, when you're ready, let's write that on our space together. Go ahead and write it, and then you can check what you wrote with me. All right, we are going to start with an uppercase H. He lost the, he lost the red, red lamp. lamp. He lost the red lamp. I just realized that's two sentences in a row where someone has referred to something being lost. Let's read all of our sentences. Look at the lit log. Is the book lost? He lost the red lamp. Ooh, I kind of wonder how we could take all three of these sentences and connect them into a story. Wouldn't that be kind of an interesting challenge? Like a creative thinking challenge. You have done an excellent job with all of this writing. Let's go and check off on our schedule, what we have done so far. So we can check off our connected text since we are done with that. Thank you so much for reading with me today in the Reader's Garden. I am so proud of you and all the work that you are doing as a reader. If you haven't yet, please take a moment to like and subscribe so you never miss a lesson with me. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.